Okay. Again, uh, for those who just joined us, my name is Matt St. John. I am one of the sales executives here at V Technologies for Starship. I appreciate everyone joining today's webinar. Uh, today I'm going to cover how to process an international shipment uh, between Acumatica and Starship. Again, any questions, please feel free to fill out the question box. And um, at the end of the webinar, I will address any questions. I'll also at the end put up my contact information. So if anyone has any further questions or maybe would like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, so up on my screen, I have the Starship shipping software. So a nice thing with Starship and the Acumatica interface, my, as a shipper, I can work direct, directly from Starship. Now Starship, we can pull by shipment, sales order, or by customer number. Uh, for today's webinar, I will be pulling by a shipment number. So gonna have a shipment inside of Acumatica already. Uh, I can manually type that shipment number in. We do have a magnifying glass lookup field here where as you can see, I, I can take a look and see all my shipments. I can apply filters uh, if I'd like to, and I could sort by any column. Case, I'm just going to manually type this in. If maybe my pick sheets or whatever I'm shipping against as a document is barcoded, I can actually even just use a regular wedge type scanner and scan in that document number. Uh, so again, I just typed in here 1379 as my shipment number. And what Starship's going to do is retrieve all the shipment header as well as the line item detail information from Acumatica. Now, Starship is multi carrier. Uh, multi-service. So as you can see, I can ship parcel, I can do freight or LTL shipments, and Starship would automatically put me in parcel or in what I like to say, quote unquote, freight mode. Okay. Um, we're mapping fields from Acumatica. So based off the ship via on in the Acumatica on this shipment, Starship's automatically going to select the carrier, service, uh, billing type, account information so you know we can get into automating your uh, third party shipments by automatically having it select the billing type to third party and or, or collect and automatically putting in your customer's account information all right in this case here i'm just shipping an international shipment you know on this one it was actually just uh, the ship view was ups ground so nice thing with starship you can set up default services um, so, hey, UPS ground, but if it's happening to go to Canada, Starship automatically knows to select my default service, in this case, which is UPS standard to Canada. Okay. All right. Sender, that's the, the uh, information that the company we are sending from Acumatica. And of course, recipient is the ship to uh, from that order inside of Acumatica. Down in my packaging view, this is where I can get into item to box detail. So with, with this order here, what I have going on is this, as you can see, this Acer laptop. This has automatically been packaged for me. Uh, so with Starship, we can set up packaging scenarios or Starship can automatically learn them. Uh, so if you guys always have certain items that always go into a certain box, uh, nice thing, Starship, again, can automatically put that item in a box. So as a shipper, one less thing I have to worry about doing. Uh, my other item here, I, I don't have a packaging scenario, so it just puts it in my default box, which in this case is called custom box. Now, if I wanted to select a custom package, I can click on the custom box here. It takes me to our packaging tab, and then here I have a drop down. So with Starship, you can set up your own custom packaging. So this can be bags, bales, pallets, um, so on and so forth. So here, maybe I want to put this remaining item in, oops, We'll throw it in the air hockey table uh, because it is an air hockey table. So we'll put that in that box. You can see using custom packaging, nice thing is it will automatically populate the dimensions for me. And then Starship will also take into consideration dim weight. So as you can see, this actual build weight, and this is just coming from the weights from Acumatica. Um, I have 44.99 pounds, but I also see here that this actually dimensional weight is $75. So going to help save on those dimensional fees. Other ways we help save on fees is the address. So Starship will do address correction. We validate zip plus four. So you know, we're going to help save on those address correction fees. And then also the commercial residential flag. We also validate that. Um, so we're going to help save on those correction fees. All right. Back in the line item detail, 
Okay, Starship has a database where you can set up your custom packaging. We also have a database and we'll automatically start storing your inventory items. Now we do this because usually in ERP systems, you know, there's not a spot for say Schedule B, um, in this case for the international information, those harmonized codes, country of manufacturer, kind of all this required information. And as you can see, Starship will store all that. Schedule B are harmonized codes. You know, I actually have a lookup. So as a shipper, if I'm missing this information, I can simply come in here and look up by code or by description. And any of this information, once I add it, once I click OK and I ship this process, it will automatically save it. So for the next time, I don't have to you know, go through that whole process again. It's going to be there for me. Now, next step, usually after we do packaging, and if I don't have packaging scenarios set up, it's simply dragging and dropping. Over here, I can add boxes. I can remove boxes. We have a repeat box function. So if this was a large order, I could simply say, hey, repeat the current package, you know, maybe five times for a total of six boxes. Uh, so for your large orders, you know, we can simply throw all those boxes in there, one quick click of the button, and then simply drag and drop items. I can hold down shift key to do multiple items. I can also hold down the control key to actually split item quantities if I needed to. So if maybe two of one item fits in uh, box one and I need to put the other two in, in my second box, I can do that right from Starship in this packaging view. All right, after we do packaging, maybe next step is to rate shop. So if I need to rate shop, I can click the green dollar icon or go to the rate shop tab. So with rate shopping, the way Starship works, all of our carriers are modules. So it's kind of a la carte. You build your own system. That way you don't have to use purchase carriers that you do not use. Um, but we actually will send directly to the carrier using their API or web services your, con your account information. So we are going to return your live negotiated rate that you have with the carrier. Okay, these are live rates. So there's no pricing tables, nothing like that. You know, tomorrow if UPS ups a fuel surcharge, I will automatically have access to that without having to do anything. Okay, just making a live call. So as you can see, I'm going to see my live contract. I can also see list pricing if I want to see the published rates. I'll be able to see delivery dates. I can change this and do business days or by total days. I can sort. So I can see by just FedEx, by UPS. We can also get into doing ship via rules. So with Starship, you can set up rules and have Starship automatically do this rating for you and select the carrier and or service based off your own criteria. So, hey, you know, Starship automatically select the carrier star or service that's the least expensive or maybe the, the least amount of delivery days. Now, Starship can automatically do that for your shipper. Again, one less thing they have to stop and manually do. The name of the game for Starship is to streamline their shipping. Okay. Charges tab, this is just simply a breakdown of the charges. Um, you don't have to click on this to actually process a shipment. I like to click on it because with Starship, you can also get into setting up freight rules. So if you have uh, any kind of freight rules, you know, maybe you do a percentage or you add a flat fee, like a handling fee. Um, with freight rules, you can set up Starship to automatically add or subtract those amounts and freight rules can be percentages they can be min maxes again it can be maybe a promo code maybe hey we want to offer free shipping over two hundred dollars um, with starship freight rules we can simply do that and they can it's up to you if you want it to go off the contract rate so your live negotiated rate or the published list rate okay so here i simply have this two percent that is basically just a handling fee. It's increasing the shipment total by 2%, and it's actually dividing it between the package's weight. Okay, so a lot of different options, a lot of different criteria for those freight rules. Okay. Uh, then when I'm ready to actually ship and process this shipment, I can click the ship and process button or the F5 key. And as soon as I do that, as you can see, Starship is processing the shipment. Basically in this case, letting UPS know I have a shipment ready to go actually grabbing a snapshot of the label, tracking information right from UPS's web servers. Okay. We also give you the option, you can save shipments. Um, you know, Maybe if you were starting a shipment and you wanted to stage it, maybe an item wasn't quite ready yet, you do have the option of starting it, saving it, and then coming back and actually shipping and processing. So when I ship and process it, again, that's when it's making the call, letting the carrier know, oh, 
got something ready to be picked up and I'm going to get my shipping documents. So for the sake of the demo, a couple of things going on here. I'm actually previewing all my shipping documents. Most certainly can send those right to a printer. And I'm also using our what we call our smart label. So as you can see, the smart label will print the shipping label and the packing list together. Um, in this case, this would need to go to a laser printer. But if you wanted to, most certainly we can send the shipping label to a thermal printer. And with our packing list, if you want to use Starship's packing list, you have the option that can go to a laser printer as well. So just send that to a piece of paper, or you can actually send it to a thermal printer. So I'll get two labels from right from my thermal printer, first one being my shipping label that goes on the outside of the box, and then the packing list can be the second thermal label, which I can just tear off and throw inside the box. You know, a couple of different options with those. And these documents, you know, I can actually PDF them if I want to save them to a network drive. I can tell it to print two different copies. Um, you know, really the sky's the limit. We can also uh, get into setting up templates and you can design your own custom documents. So here, because this is international, we will generate the international information, uh, documents such as this is a NAFTA form, commercial invoices, but because Starship's pulling order header line item detail, as you can see here, it will automatically put that information on the document. And then I customize this one, I have it signed, dated, and one last thing my shipper has to stop and manually fill out. Okay. With any template that I custom design, again, maybe this commercial invoice, the customer ABC needs it to look a certain way. I can create a template for that customer and then assign a rule that says, hey, only print this document when the order is for customer ABC. Okay. So again, a lot of flexibility with your printing options. And again, this one's customized, it's signed, dated, ready to go. Okay, so again, shipping process, gonna get all my shipping documents. And then as a shipper, I'm just rinse repeat cycle, ready to move on to my next shipment. And again, I can either scan a barcode, manually type that in, or use the lookup button to process my next shipment. Now I'll jump back inside of Acumatica and we'll bring up that shipment so I can show you the right back. Okay. And on the shipping setting, first thing is the 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 freight cost and freight amount. So freight costs, we are writing back what the carrier is gonna charge you for this shipment. So this is your negotiated rate that you have with the carrier. Okay, so in this case, this is what UPS is gonna charge me. The freight amount is what I'm charging the customer. Okay, so that's that, uh, I had that freight rule, so it was 2% on top of my freight cost. Okay. And then the packaging, as you can see, we reversed right back the box IDs. So if I have these boxes set up inside of Acumatica and then inside Starship, put them in these certain packages like I did here, Starship will write back the box ID. We're also going to write back tracking number here in the tracking number field. And then customer reference number one, number two, that's up to you. Um, I have mine set up. I, I'm putting, as you can see, the service type and the actual ship date, which is a little behind, but that is the ship date according to my system here. And then on the notes, we're gonna kind of consolidate all that information, give you the ship date, you know, package weight, and again, those tracking numbers. All right, so also included in with Starship, uh, two other programs here, and I'll bring them up. Uh, first one is our dashboard program. So this is a reporting tool. A nice thing with dashboard, no additional seats, anything like that are required. So you can actually uh, have this installed on as many workstations as you like. Um, you know, it's not going to take up any seats for Starship. Yeah, but just a quick reporting tools. So I have some performance indicators up here, as you can see. Um, and then we also have some built-in CAN reports. And of course, all the different you know, daily, hit, daily in history shipment reports, um, charge comparison report. This is a nice report you can run, actually gonna show you all your shipments, gonna show you what you charge the customer for the shipment and compare it to your contract rate. And then the third column is the plus or minus. So quick report you can run, make sure you're not losing money on your shipments. And another report that's nice to run is the late delivery report, goes out, again, gonna compare on all your shipments, the guaranteed delivery date to the actual delivery date, gonna let you know of any shipment that wasn't delivered on time. So you can contact the carrier and try to get a refund. 
and then our email program here. So the nice thing with eNotify, you can build your own custom email templates that you can send to your customers. Same thing like Dashboard, doesn't require any additional seats or licenses. Uh, so as you can see here, let me make this a little bit bigger for you. Simple and easy, create these templates, let my customer know, hey, you know, look out for the UPS truck. Here's the estimated delivery gate that's coming from UPS. But nice thing, I can give them item to box breakdown and these tracking numbers are hyperlinked. So this will send them to, in this case, UPS's website so they could track the package. Uh, these you know, do have customers that use these and, and they do say they help reduce those inbound calls of customers just calling up, you know, asking, hey, where's my shipment? Let the customer give them the information, you know, let them track. And then with the templates, you know, you can do promo codes. You can hyperlink the promo code if you want, get the customer right back to your website. And then with these templates for the emailing, um, same thing, unlimited templates. You can also, in, instead of printing rules, you can assign emailing rules. So again, maybe I only want to send this promo code that gives 10% off to certain customers. I can create a template, assign an emailing rule, and then this email would only go to those certain customers. And these emails that can actually be sent, um, it's up to you when they go. So as soon as I click ship and process, I can delay them by a certain number of hours and or minutes. Or if I wanted to, I could just set a time, hey, at six o'clock, send all the emails. All right. So again, that's a really quick uh, overview of Starship and how to process an international shipment with Acumatica. Um, I will put up my contact information here. And if anyone has any further questions, let me check the question toolbar. I don't think I see anything coming in. Oh, I actually do have a question here. So let me break this out. Okay, so one of the questions is we work with multiple carriers. Can we have more than one? to price shop in Starship. So that is correct. So currently we have, Starship has about 26 different carriers. That's both parcel as well as LTL carriers that we have modules with. So if you use UPS, FedEx, um, even LTL carriers, maybe um, like XPO, uh, even a USPS module. Um, if you have that carrier module, when you rate shop, you will be able to see the um, direct rates that you have with that carrier. So, you know, YRC, XBO, um, we have all these different. And again, if you have want a list, please feel free. I'll put up my contact information here. Please feel free to email me and um, I can send you the list of all the carriers that we have integrations with, as well as all the, the features you gain with that carrier. Um, so a lot of like the LTL carriers, a nice thing with having multiple LTL carriers, you no longer have to rate shop each, you know, go to each carrier's website or call them up to find out how much the uh, the uh, shipment's going to cost. And then Starship can generate bill lading forms, pallet labels, so on and so forth. Okay. All right. Like I said, there's my contact information. Uh, please, again, feel free to reach out to me. If you have any further questions, shoot me an email, give me a call, or I would like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo, and you know, we can kind of slow things down, take a little bit more time, and go through the process, and I can show you a lot more detail of Starship and Acumatica. Um, so with that, I actually uh, about 2.21 right now, so I got nine minutes of your, your time back. Uh, but again, I really appreciate everyone taking time out of the day for this webinar. And, uh, like I said, any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks again. Have a good one.